Yo, what's up everybody? It's the white magical tiger. I want to show you all this view. Yeah, check that out. How cool is that? So we're just going to look at this rather than my face. So today's video is about you can lead a lemming to the truth, but you can't force a lemming to learn the truth. And it's, of course, it's that saying, it's like you can lead a horse to water, but you can't force a horse to drink. And so what is a lemming? And you can see these videos on YouTube. Of Ahead lies the Arctic shore, and beyond, the sea. And still the little animals surge forward. This animal, this lemming, so like, if this lemming, like it's kind of like a hamster, really. It runs off a cliff, all its other like brothers and sisters, all its like, <laughs> the rest of the lemmings will follow it off the cliff. And it's just uh, kind of symbolic or a metaphor, uh, I guess a metaphor for uh, society. They reach the final precipice. This is the last chance to turn back. That they're kind of on this cliff, that's got this train that's gonna go off the cliff and in so many ways, in so many ways with the financial system, spiritually, their physical health, um, just with the, the mainstream narrative and just not questioning it. And there are so many aspects with the, the whole um, hokey pokey jab the from 2020, 2021, 2022, that whole thing. And so you can lead the average person to the truth, but most aren't interested. They don't wanna drink the water. They don't wanna hear the truth. And a lot of it is relatable to your friends and family where it's like you learn this new information, you learn about your soul, you learn about your divinity as a child of God. And you wanna like share this with your community, with your friends, your family, your brothers and sisters, these people you grew up with, these people you love, and they're gonna think you're crazy. Cause like you, you get unplugged from the matrix and it's like, what is, um, I think, what does Morpheus say to Neo? Or maybe it's like someone, there's a line in the Matrix where it's, um, he's like, most of these people aren't ready to be unplugged yet from the Matrix. And most people are like Agent Smith, where you just, they freak out if um, they get really fearful when you share these, like, these truths, because it changes the whole narrative of their life where most have been like pursuing money their whole life, or they've been thinking that there is no God and it's all meaningless and that there's no purpose to this or just whatever it is. And so when you bring the real truth to them, it just like shatters the reality and, and causes them to go into a state of fear. And so it's easier for them to just reject you, write you off as crazy. And so you just gotta, I just spent a week in San Diego with my family and I didn't really talk about any of this stuff. I just, I was just myself. I was just like high energy, happy and, um, and whenever someone, asks, I've just learned like the saying, do not give pearls into swine because they'll chew them up and stomp on them. Do not give what's holy into dogs. And essentially it's like, it's saying that like when you share these truths, these pearls of wisdom with people that don't appreciate it, it's a, it's a big energy drain because they don't appreciate the truth for the pearl of wisdom that it is. And there's only select few people that do truly appreciate it. And so you just got to be patient and just live your best lifestyle. Uh, do the meditations, do the prayers, do the fasting, do the cleansing, the detoxification, practice the silence, keep learning all this stuff. Be the best version of yourself. Keep, keep the commandments of Jesus Christ from John 14, 15. And just let the people that are curious, that see your energy, your high vibe, this high frequency of love, joy, peace, bliss, your energy that's just radiating the love and light of God, let that just beam and the right people are going to attract towards you and, and, and want to be near you. And they're going to ask questions. They're going to be like, what are you about? And those, those are the people that you share these pearls of wisdom with because they're willing to listen. They have a, they have a, they have a willing ear to listen. Whereas most of our friends and family, unfortunately, they don't want to hear this. And, but maybe one day they will. And so what we can do is we can pray for them and, and hope that they, that they do want to get on this journey of the, the way, the Tao, uh, to the truth. And so with that message, y'all, that's it. Um, yeah, just be selective with where you share these, this truth with because it really can be an energetic drain to share it with someone that's not interested. And because like it scares them, the truth scares them. And so it's just better off just being silent 
until they're ready to ask you questions from their own curiosity about what you're about. So uh, hopefully you learn from my experience because I've had a lot of experience of just having that energetic drain and it's not fun. It's not fun for either party. So just practice patience, keep doing your own thing. Uh, you'll pray to God to be attracted towards the right-minded people that can talk about truth, that do have an open mind, that can question the narrative. And uh, yeah, so uh, may God bless all y'all. If you feel the calling in your heart to help support this channel, uh, feel free to make a donation. You can also help support this video by liking it, sharing it with your friends and family who love truth, and uh, subscribing to the channel so, because ultimately I would like you to submit to the Lord, submit to God. Uh, I want you to follow Jesus Christ. I want you to follow the truth. And I'm simply a messenger. So if subscribing to the channel helps you do that, so be it. All right, y'all. May God bless all y'all. Amen. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare.